One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, circuit training. One standing up, one with the chair. So what we're looking at here is turning out the legs, turning out, rotating them out. Um, pronate, supinate, maybe pronate. And we're rotating from up in the thighs, opening up the ball joint of the hip. We use this in the Latin dances. Uh, for one thing, it gives a nicer look. Uh, it can also help us, I'm doing American, more American Latin motion right here, but it helps you roll one knee across, each, uh, across another. I think it gives a little bit more lateral control than here. So if we're doing, say, a cha-cha, I think it gives a little bit more control, speed, a nicer line if the legs are turned out. Anyway, there's good reason to be able to, to turn up the legs. To find your natural turnout, you put your weight back a little bit into the heels, and you rotate, roll the legs open, and that's your natural turnout. You don't want to walk it any farther than that. And if you do, it's, it's hard on the knees, but when you release the foot from the foot, it's just going to flop right back in. So find your natural amount of turnout. So for instance, from the joint of the big toe, I might use two, two and a half floorboards. You might use a little bit more, you might use a little bit less. Different people have different preferences. But again, Latin dancing should have turnout, and there are occasions within smooth or standard where you might hit a position that has rotation as well. Another exercise, you saw me sit down. Notice that you have to come to the front of the chair. If you're, if you're all the way back on the chair, you're going to find it a little bit harder to rotate, but if you're up closer to the, to the tip of it, don't fall out. And work the leg a little bit better. We can also talk about circuit training. We can also walk over to the wall and try them. Notice I'm not trying to do anything funny with the foot. So when the knee turns, the toe, the toes face the same direction as the knee. You don't want what we would say a sickled foot. So a little here, a little bit more country. And here. So this is something that we do in Latin dancing, occasionally in smoother standard, accidentally in a way. And also if you're doing your tendu exercises or your rond de jambes, we want to be able to hold that turnout for the look, for the balance, for the technique. <laughs> 